Now, if we look at the kind of working class didn't happen, you know, because there is a hierarchy of didn't happen. There's different types that didn't happen. Hopefully, watching this show, you've learned that. There's different types that didn't happen. This is what a working class salt of the earth didn't happen look like. This is what happens when somebody who I'm going to assume not of a particularly good educational background. Right? I'm, I'm going to. I might be wrong. I don't want to make wild assumptions. Hopefully, you'll agree with me after the didn't happen. But this is what happens when they do it didn't happen. It's a little bit different, but it's got all the same elements of a classic didn't happen. So here we go. This one. Uh, again, of, of that happened. Uh, this is called I Shit You Not, A Beautiful Hunting Story. And you can see here, ha, ha, ha. That, what, what I love about this is like, it's like, because you know at the end of the story, everyone laughs or you're laughing, you know, one of the two. I like the way that you open the story contextually with the laughter that's going to happen at the end. But just to show everyone how real it is. Ha, <laughs> ha, I'm even typing my laughter. I'm laughing so much. Ha, 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 friend and friend. I shit you not, right? So again, definitely not a lie. If you say <laughs> I shit you not twice in the opening sentence, it can't be a lie. I shit you not. I went out hunting last night. Two swans, one bullet. I shit you not. <laughs> Is he playing COD Four? So <laughs> doing three right. sixties in the woods, mate. I'm I'm more I'm fucking more interested, right? In that YouTube video. You know, we all saw two girls, one cup. Two swans, one bullet. <laughs> Sexy chocolate ice cream for all, and everybody vomited. <laughs> That's how that story ends, isn't it? The two girls, one cup didn't happen, and then she shot Mr. Whippy style into a cup, and everyone was sick. That's that's how it ends. Uh, but anyway, I shit you not. Then two police officers come up to me <laughs> and said, Sir, you Who's know, it cover swans. <laughs> <laughs> <Sir>. <laughs> You know it's illegal to shoot swans. I mean, like, how do you know? I, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would why would any police officer assume that? That is, you know it's illegal. To shoot. I don't actually. That's why I'm shooting them. Is it? Is it legal? <laughs> is it? just not me, big and fucking in my face. <laughs> I mean, like, it probably is just illegal to be like in a public place, just straight <laughs> killing, killing animals. <laughs> I think I, just just to take a little deviation because I do like a deviation on this show. Uh, I fucking hate swans. I, I oh, do. I, 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 in the entire yeah, face, like yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like, right? Do you know what I mean? Like, w it, this is how you know there's no divine creator out there, right? Because you make this beautiful, majestic bird. I mean, they are beautiful to look at, right? You think, wow, look at that with their graceful necks and you know, pristine, you know, white feathers and wonderful uh, wingspan, and they're they're pretty graceful in the way that you know they'll they'll fly down and land on the water, almost seamlessly transitioning from flight to to sort of swimming, no movement. I mean, I've, I've seen, as you can tell, I've spent a lot of time looking at swans. Like, Whoa, <laughs> you dirty look, bitch! Whoa, look at that majestic. Right. But <laughs> look at its neck. Yeah, look at the snack on that. Right? <laughs> so anyway, they're pretty beautiful creatures, but their personality's garbage. I mean, they're all cunts, aren't they? I mean, like they're just, <laughs> they're just the most needlessly leery animal on they planet are very Earth. Cunty. Yeah, yeah, you just go up to them like, hey, do you want like some bread, Mister Swan? <laughs> what? <laughs> So Why is that reasonable? Sorry, I'm just trying to offer you some bread, you mad cunt. <laughs> you know, you see a little baby swan, I'll go feed the baby swan. Ah, it's breaking my arm, it's breaking my arm. Yeah, I reckon the reason is, but it's because everyone said not to kill them. So they think we can't kill them, but so they think, oh, I'm fucking top of the food chain around you. I haven't been killed by a human once. I haven't seen anyone get wrecked. Thing in it, like, yeah, you're probably right there. There's something to this. As soon as it was like divine mandate in the UK, because like swans belong to the Queen or whatever the <laughs> yeah, I know. Right, swans belong to all the other birds. You can kill them in season, but swans belong to the Queen. You ever seen the fucking Queen eating a swan like just six foot <laughs> fucking drumstick? Like, <laughs> you know, it never happened, did it? Didn't happen. So anyway. Yeah, all of that fucking time giving them this false sense of confidence. It's like the the rich kid at school. Yeah. You don't hit you don't hit him because his dad's a lawyer. And he's like, hey, 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 maybe I am tough and scary. Soon as he goes out into the real world, blow one I bullet, two sticks. So I'm not even saying it's you know wrong to kill swans because I think they do need a bit of humbling. They need to fucking <laughs> yeah. Get... Maybe just a couple of digs. Maybe just slap a swan. 
they need to wind their neck in is what they need to do. Like, <laughs> wind that big, long fucking neck in and calm the fuck down. But just the idea of it as well, like, you, you, I, it can't be true, but I hear all the time that, and you know, a swan can break a human arm. And it's I've like, heard fuck, that as well. Yeah, I've heard that. It can't be true, like. They can't be. They're cunts. They'll have a peck and they'll have a flap, like. But, like, surely... I don't like, know, because I, I can't, like, peop- uh, certain animals' tails break arms. If a tail can break an arm, a fucking wing or something, or a... But but I'm, I'm just going to say I don't even know what they break it with. Two things. If a swan breaks your arm, <laughs> you are a mad cook. <laughs> you are a cook for life. I'm just saying that, right? Maybe you might want some self-defense lessons. But here's the other... Uh, and also, drink some fucking milk. Get some <laughs> calcium in your system, mate. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, ah, me yeah, fucking they're all arm. vegans, that's what you mean. <laughs> just get yeah, wrecked. Yeah, yeah, a vegan might get battered by a swan. I'm not... <laughs> oh, no, they're so peaceful. <laughs> don't hurt the innocent swan. The not swans all swans. Are... Yeah, this one don't give a fuck about your love and appreciation. It will peck your fucking eyes out if it gets a chance. Fuck swans. Right? So anyway, so this guy could have been a hero. He's lying, of course. He's straight lying. But uh, anyway, so I shit you not. I went out hunting last night. Two swans, one bullet. I shit you not. And two police officers come up to me and said, Sir, you know it's illegal to shoot swans. I said, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> now, God, him. Classic. Classic, uh, people, not a lot of people know this, but actually there's a legal loophole where if a police officer comes up and says what you're doing is illegal, if you say, I don't give a fuck, they can't arrest you. Did you know that? Yeah. It's like if you ask them, are you a police officer? They have to say, yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all, <laughs> totally true. Totally true. So they just come up to you and they go, excuse me, uh, you do know that uh, you're stood over a, a twitching corpse holding a bloody knife. Uh, and, you know, you can't kill people. <laughs> Don't give a fuck. That's how <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer... Let him go. That's how Jeffrey Dahmer got away with it for so long. He just said, I don't give a fuck. He went, a fucking rat. And then one day Next he gave time. a fuck. Yeah, and that was the thing. It was the day he gave a fuck that they got him. That was that. Uh, so anyway, right, I said, I don't give a fuck. Then they said, what's your language? I said, no. Got him. What you gonna do? Put me in a police van, are you? You fucking pair of twats. Now, <laughs> at this point, right? At this point, I've got to say, you know, this, this, this is these police aren't really doing their job, are they? They're not. They're probably not fit to be police officers. You know what I mean? Like, I don't. Right, what are you gonna do, you fucking pair of twats? And the cops are like looking at each other, going, "No, we can't do now. Can we? He's got us. Like, he's straight up. <laughs> he's just basically running around with a gun, murdering swans in our backyard, and we can't do fuck all. He's too hard. He's too hard, Sam. They can't stop him. He's too hard. <laughs> he's too hard. He's an hard bastard. So anyway, I uh, said. What you're gonna put me in a police van, are you? You fucking pair of twats. Then they walked off, and I shout. That's what I thought, you pair of spineless cowards. Keep walking, or I'll boot you, pair, straight up the arse. This guy's out of control. <laughs> this guy... Yeah, because I know what I do. Just as I got away with a crime, I'd be sure to taunt the police officers as they leave. Perhaps even a rousing chorus of na 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 <laughs> na na Hey, 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 goodbye. Cops love that when they slink off. Fucking hell, I really wanted to arrest him. Can't. <laughs> Got me now. Can't. I am a coward. Yeah. So there you go. I mean, like, uh, this is this is the working class uh, didn't happen. Uh, you know, it, it's very similar. It's just that it's coming from two perspectives, isn't it? You know, you've got the perspective of the person who hasn't lived a day in his life and therefore... He exaggerates things that are very ordinary, but you can tell they're kind of like based and anchored in movie like fantasy scenarios. This one, uh, you know, is, well, what if I got away with it? What if I killed swans and got away with it? And then what if I could batter police officers and get away with it? Yeah, yeah, they'll love that down the dog and duck. They'll love that. And, and, and that's what you get, you see. Both of them the same, but slightly different. Two types. I didn't have.